Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got several weather items of note. We'll check out some details from the May 2024 solar storm. Geologists just figured out California quakes can be much bigger than they thought, and we're starting with the last 24 hours on our star. Solar flares continue, but luckily they have concentrated in the northern departing group and didn't fire any more CMEs our way. Already let loose three of those. This coronal hole will face Earth tonight and the solar wind will arrive on Saturday. So let's look quickly at the sunspots next. We're now seeing the largest and most complex groups beginning to turn towards the far side of the sun to the right. They are leaving Earth risk position for CME production. Incoming spots have some size, but they are all alone and not flaring. So only about one in six of you caught the special video update last night. We have four impacts coming in the solar wind. That is extremely rare. Luckily, they're not big. Top panel is plasma density, and you can see the three peaks of the three small CMEs heading our way. Then in the bottom row, solar wind speed. The green line surges upward Saturday on the far right side of the chart after those three impacts. That's the coronal hole stream arriving on Saturday. Now, while NOAA forecasts level two geomagnetic storms, the real range for this event is one to three, which is KP five to seven. It's a good chance to monitor the magnetic field here with a four-way event over the next four days, starting tonight. If we hit KP eight, a level four storm, that would be a bad sign. Folks, that nor'easter on the East Coast, not a joke. Towns along the coast are flooded out. The storm surge was pretty enormous. Across the country, the aftermath of tropical events shooting northward left microburst damage in Tempe, Arizona. Brutal place for a super wind event. And let's also check out the polar vortices down south. The outermost ring pinched off. This will lead to the vortex demise for the season. Meanwhile, up north, the gearing up continues, always a slow build up there, often much stronger by my birthday, which is next Tuesday, so I'll probably be checking it again on that day. Study up next showing how in the United States and Australia, the GPS functions were severely disabled for 15 and 20 hours, respectively. During the May 2024 solar superstorm, it took a major impact on some of the critical functions, including GPS. During an even bigger event that poses a big risk for traffic, air traffic, big agriculture, and several other industries. Top story today, folks. They found that super sheer earthquake events are very possible, if not probable, in the near future in California. Super shear events are much faster, cause much more shaking, they're always deadlier and cause more damage. This is what awaits you in California on Long Enough Timeline. Folks, tomorrow is the monthly issue of our e-magazine, Observer Review. Tons of great articles this month covering and updating the most important science topics, including ENSO, Impact on the Polar Motion of the Earth, the continued exploration of solar storm activity triggering earthquakes, and the paper we had discussed from September, which the rest of the world is just learning about this week. Link is below and it is the best way to support us, not to mention it's the only publication on Earth actively tracking the pole shift and key observer science. Don't forget to grab your tickets to our winter tour as well, five cities over the next five months. It's what you need to know, what's going to happen to this planet, what you need to do, how to survive and put yourself and your children into the next age of Earth. Lastly, folks, there is not much time left to come out to Observer Ranch here in our rookie year. Do have some pretty stellar events coming up in November. The Winter Tour and Observer Review e-magazine links are below. It's ObserverRanch.com to come see us in Colorado. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here but right now it's 5 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open no fear be safe everyone